All right, guys. We're in Hemet again, and this is what we bought. Whole stack of DVDs. More there. More down in there. Guitar. Uh, back there. Kind of hard to see with the lighting, but there is a receiver for stereos, as well as looks like a there's a VC at least one VCR, another receiver, table, ugly flowers, some more DVDs down in there. Uh, who knows what else is in there? But uh, getting ready to check them. Um, checked a few of the DVDs, and they all seem to be there, right on. Uh, my wife talked me into buying this one, so sweet. Let's start unpacking. So this is from the auction on, let's see, I believe it was the 8th, it was uh, Tuesday, down in Hemet. Lots of good stuff in here. Um, probably the most I've ever paid for a unit, for one single unit, uh, but I think it was worth it, so... Here's what we got. Almost all of the shoes in this unit look brand new. Pair of Vans here. Vans. Uh, these ones aren't in as great a shape. I don't even know what those are. Or these ones. Say Spalding, but those two are probably the worst pairs. Pair of boots. They are Brockma. Uh, Thinsulate, waterproof also, no idea what those things are. Some more work boots here, also waterproof, and they are State Street, never heard of them. Some more work boots, these ones are Rugged Outback, um, not sure if those ones are waterproof or not. Okay, I've got one Nike here. I do have the other pair, I just, the other shoe. I just didn't want to uh, pull it out. I got, there's a lot of stuff that was packed into this unit. There's like a 5x10. And I mean, those look pretty good. Almost brand new themselves. This box here, completely full of, well, let's get these ones out of here. Completely full of... DVDs and they are all in their cases and that's how big the box is. I'd say there's probably about 200 DVDs. Pretty good. This huge box here. Um, this is full of just random kitchen items. Um, I mean they'll sell. People like the kitchen items. They're not great but they'll sell. We have a Dippin' Dots machine. Uh, don't have instructions for it, but I'm sure someone can figure it out. Here's some good, decent kitchen stuff here. Um, got four of these, four of these, two of these. These are actually China. Uh, says it right on there, fine China. Four of these, there's like five of these, two of these ones here, some more pans. Kind of cool ice cube trays, they're in the shapes of stars. Uh, desktop computer, uh, I'm not sure if it works or not, I haven't tried it. There's a few books in there, nothing great in the books. Uh, most of them religious pamphlets and stuff, we end up throwing away. Uh, here's an RCA receiver. Um, it's got some sort of issue. It, sometimes it'll come on and work. Sometimes it just gives a fuzzy sound. Uh, I'm not sure. And the display is really faint. Like, almost gone. Then there's a Denon. A little tape deck there. And it's got an input and an output for left and right. And then we got this Philips here. That's the base. That speaker plugs into it. There's the volume for it. And this I know works. I've got my iPod in it. Um, there's the other speaker over there. 
We've got this Emerson boombox. A brand new Mr. Coffee, still in the plastic inside of the box. Uh, I just actually cut the tape off just now, just to see if that's what was in it. And it's all brand new, wrapped up. Um, there's this cup here, it says his, and the handle's a heart. I'm sure there's a hers somewhere, I just haven't got to it yet. This looks to be a brand new Bluetooth in the package. This is 100% human hair. Non-tangle, non-shedding, 100% human hair. Um, not sure what it's worth, but got it. Cabbage Patch birth certificate. Bunch of tapes. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to do with the tapes, if I'll try and sell them or just throw them away or give them away. Um, the only reason for that is they're all from like a church. We got Pastor Chuck Singleton, um, Teaching Ministry of Chuck Singleton, whole bunch. This guy was like a pastor, pastor, so uh, this cool glass here. Bunch of picture frames, some more cups here, these two tall standing speakers. They're a little rugged and on the edges, but uh, I plugged them in and they seem to work. Which, I actually plugged them into the RCA receiver that doesn't really work, and they work. But I don't know how well because the receiver doesn't work very good. Um, that guitar was in the unit. We looked that up and they sell for about a hundred bucks on eBay. Uh, there's a flat screen TV, it's face down right now. The only thing that looks to be wrong with it is it doesn't have a base, although it does have the mount for the wall, so could do that. Some more shoes that were in that unit. Um, these are called Path. I don't know. I've never heard of Path, but they look like they could be worth some money. Uh, some more work boots in there. There's actually some more Nikes as well that are all like brand new. Here's one pair of those Nikes that I would be talking about. Here's another pair here. And somewhere in one of these bags there's two more pairs. And they all seem to be brand new. We've got, there's a pair of Levi 501s in there, brand new. Well, I mean, not brand new. They've probably been worn like twice. Um, there's these jeans here, which I think these ones are South Pole. And then there's a few other brands in there. There's some Wranglers. Um, this is a Betty Boot purse. Some more bags here. Uh, I believe there's a whole bucket or basket or something full of purses from this unit also. I just don't know where. Um, and I, I'm not being racist when I say this, but this was obviously a black person's unit. Uh, especially when you go through the clothes. Um, this thing here was in there. This, I'm not too sure what this could be worth. It's like a little apron. But, it's got the Freemason symbol on it. Um, so who knows, that might be worth something. Uh, there's a couple leather jackets in there. As well as some other jackets that we looked up online that sell for about a hundred bucks a piece. Uh, some of them more. Uh, and there's still a lot of stuff we haven't gone through. One of these bags, I know it's just full of hangers. All these puzzles here, there's three of them. Those were all in the unit. And, you know, like these cups here, there's still a whole bunch more in here. They're all wrapped in newspaper. I just haven't gone through them yet. But there's a whole bunch of them in there. Um, 
this thing's got stuff in it. This box here has stuff in it. I think this bag here is pretty much just trash. It's just papers and whatnot. Um, see, what is this one here? Yeah, just papers, trash. Um, those paintings in that bag, haven't really looked at them too much, but those were in that unit. A few odds and ends jewelry, so... Yeah. Oh, there's the leather jackets. And some of the other jackets that were in there. So, I mean, like that military looking one. It's not actually a military. It, it's got military patches, but it's not actually a military jacket. It's. I don't know how to explain it. It's something you can buy, and it's like hundred bucks online it's got like a green liner on the inside and then there's a black jacket that's I don't know what it's made out of but it's made to look like a military jacket as well and it's just like that looked it up online and it sells for about a hundred or plus or more so yeah little pump for uh, air mattress pretty cool Guys, I forgot to show you one more thing from that unit. There's a VCR player. Um, the only reason I'm showing that is because last garage saw I had, I actually had people asking for a VCR player. Uh, I plugged it in, displays, the display here works, uh, so I'm guessing it works. I don't, I haven't put a tape in there or anything, but, you know, display works. You press the power and it gets brighter, so... Yeah.